first point on King's Row. So, utilizing the Ana, we'll see where the Lucid's going to be able to keep some better positioning against Sire Player, who was very, very good at getting in from behind, taking him out before he could get slept. That fan sign said she wanted to eat dinner with them afterwards. She brought the spam. <laughs> Not going to be seeing any Orisa spam in this game, though. It's just going to be the dive here as Metathene approaches the second floor here. It's the duel between Saya Player and Arhan. That is not the target that he was looking for, so Saya Player still searching for the Ana. Okay, they're just going to allow the Metathena players to come in here. Recry is dove upon here, but immediately the boop comes on to boop Changshik away. So close to actually getting him off the edge there. Discord Orb, they want to get rid of the monkey, and they do so successfully. It's beautiful so far. It's just Recry immediately Biotic Fields, and then immediately the Biotic Grenade comes down to answer, which blocks Changshik's healing, and then the Donghyun Defense Matrix comes in. It's just a world of hurt here. Arhan's going to get the pick on the Nuz, as they are one for one currently, but I think that may change as Arhan now kills Hoon's mech. And Saya Player looks real frustrated right now. They're just not able to find these picks because the protection from Lucid, from Dongyeon, I mean, it was a perfect setup. Multiple heroes diving onto Recry, and yet still Dongyeon, Lucid, they are in close proximity because they were all staking, sticking together on the point, very easily able to react, give the healing, give the defense matrix, the Biotic Grenade comes in to block the healing of Chongsik, punishes him for coming in. IDK as well with the boop to buy some time for Rikai to use his own Biotic Field. The defensive setups here are beautiful from the Freaks. Yeah, well, Ultimate's coming in here as the Nano Blade is down for Ahan. He's even got the Sound Barrier. It's only one more tick that Meta Athena need to take this first point, so they're investing a lot, but it doesn't seem to matter. Nuss picks up a double kill on the Zen Yada. And that Dragon Blade just flat out didn't get the work done that Afrika Freaks were looking for. They're probably going to have to go for some sort of reset here, as this final tick is going to be easy now. And Meta Athena, that was some solid dive. That was really well done. The targeting was much better this time, and obviously the Dragon Blade and the Sound Bearer were used very early on in the fight. And with Aron unable to find any picks with the Transcendence coming down, those are the two big uh, ultimates used. Recry got picked right afterwards, didn't have the ability to use his Tac Visor, and the rest is history, obviously. IDK just trying to buy time there on the ceiling, but a decent time big 530 left currently for Meta Athena. Can't really snowball this, not a whole lot of ults to go for the double. Yeah, well. They are going to be able to set themselves up pretty easily on the high ground here as Donghyun, his mech is going to get taken down extraordinarily low, just throws out the self-destruct and grabs a triple kill for it! Thank you very much! Recry is going to be able to take down Hoon's mech, and Afrika Blue are going to utilize this man advantage to wipe the floor with Meta Athena. Give it another shot, guys. It was so funny because I was about to say, this is the one time Donghyun gets caught with his back turned when Saya Player gets the pulse bomb because he's been eating them so consistently all night. On purpose. And then he's just like, oh, well, I guess I just press Q and you all die. So <laughs> watch this again. Saya Player, look at him on the left side, gets the pulse bomb down, but self destruct comes in. And <laughs> he was just standing in the middle of the point. Yep. That is flat out just Meta Athena not paying attention to the gigantic exclamation mark, right? It might have been also the call-outs that Donghyun was down, not actually while his mech was in its explosion yeah, animation, it. and then they just didn't realize he had that self-destruct, but either way, kind of sloppy there. Nice defense, though, again for Donghyun. Well, Meta Athena are going to throw down the sound barrier. They're looking to try and actually make this one an attempt. They overlap it with the Transcendence as well, and they do manage to grab the kills. Lucid falls down. Chris is going to get punished, though, as Recry. He's still alive. Not not too much joy to be gathered here by the Dragon Blade, actually, as Sire Player continues to try and get aggressive. Pulse Bomb zoning that monkey back into the spawn location. Lucid gets back here. Libero continues to go nuts. Oh, good sleep. sleep onto Sire Player. That is what we wanted out of Lucid. His sleeps are normally pretty good. He's going to get back home. We've got the first tick coming down here on Hanamura. That is a big deal for Afrika Freaks. They okay. still do have three and a half minutes to work with. Another self destruct kill onto Arhan. Recry gets a pick onto Saya, though. Remember, defender's advantage here. Not making any swaps at all because they had these ultimates. So, not going on to the Desperation May or anything like that. Oh. And take a nap. Oh boy. Yep, so Hoon is going to get sleepy for oh. a little while and staggered forever. Booped so she couldn't suicide there for even longer, then finally taken out by IDK. Ult advantage here with that last commitment by Meta Athena as well. So they got a tick, and that was nice, and they committed actually, instead of trying to get the second tick to kind of camping the spawn location there, but too many ultimates on the side of the Freaks. 
and they are able to break out. So three minutes left on the clock, still very doable for Meta Athena as they look for an eco push. The side yeah. player switches to the soldier. Okay, uh -huh. Gets himself healed back up, but does need to be careful. These Discord orbs seem to have a magnet for Genji's, which does make sense. He's got a big metal suit. That'll be good. Sure. Also very low on health and uh, a good target. I like your metal suit idea, though. <laughs> very, much more magnetic. Oh, good reflect. There it is again. alive for the moment. It's side play. He has to get out of there. He switched over to the soldier, just trying to make use of this high ground that they do have access to. Fair bit of damage going down as Transcendence once again invested here on the side of Meta Athena. Afrika holding on to so many ultimates. No health pack. We've got a self destruct available as Dong Hyun does throw that one out, gets the kill into Libero. Actually, Helix Rockets come in as he reflects Sire players back into his own face. And Meta Athena just get obliterated. Well, the key here for Meta Athena is I want to make this high ground push work with the soldier, but. Aron found him and killed him there. He almost got away <laughs> with the did he health kill pack. Him or did Sire player kill himself? Sure, he killed himself. Arhan. He killed himself technically. You know, he was like, <laughs> "I won't let you have this. I want to do this myself." Yeah, exactly. But uh, he fall on his own terms, man. I understand that. Exactly. He wants to go out his own way, but he dies, and that means uh, one of the crux of the push dies because Libero died to the self destruct. So DPS removed, and they have to reset. But they got a lot of ult charge out of this. Well, speaking of ults, Nanoblade is going to fly through as Ahan's already been able to pick up Nas. That's generally his only target, but he gets a mech for it as well as Hoon is going to get taken out. The nice little Goomba Stomp kill into Chris there as well as IDK just boops Chunkshik off the edge. Decides not to chase uh, Sire Player, which I thought was really funny. Sire Player running for his Hitler. <laughs> Aron's just like, nah, I'll let you go, man. Yep, I got you there. last time. I respect your, your suicide <laughs> earlier, so I'll let you get off the hook this one. You can build up to your next tag visor. Was that suicide or was it like more like euthanasia, you know? Yeah, sure. Because like, I feel like it was such a messy fight and a fight that Meta Athena had no chance of winning that he was just like, come on, come on, man. I mean, this is just nicer just to get rid of me now. And I'll come back and get things done better. But I think we've taken this to a dark place. Meta Athena now ready for another dive. We've only got 40 seconds on the clock as Afrika Blue do have some ultimates to work with. But finally, Meta Athena with the ult advantage moving forward. Nas is going to get taken extraordinarily low as Dongyun finishes him off with his little diva pistol. Yep. The Mechless Diva, man, a uh, force to be reckoned with in this situation. Good understanding of the health packs as well from Dongyun. Impressive all night long, but Mono and IDK are already down, and now he's dead too. Yeah, Meta Athena, they've only got 15 seconds to go, but they're going to tick this one up. Oh, Recry gets himself onto the point, but he's going to get taken down very, very quickly. That's going to be that. Hanamura completed by Meta Athena. 11 seconds on the time bank. We were talking about how cool it was that Dongyun was able to find his way out of that rough situation, get the health pack, and then look for the kill onto uh, the Zenyatta. However, the cost of this is no defense matrix during the main fight, which was happening off screen. And we don't know exactly what happened there, but certainly Dongyun being caught was part of the problem as he wasn't there for the defense matrix he needed to be. So. Good understanding by Meta Athena knowing that he was out of the mech and they had an opportunity to commit there. They only had a few seconds up on the clock, so they, it needed to be then, but well done. Yeah, and the Nanoblade actually came in a little bit too soon on the side of a Freak of Blue as well, just because they then didn't have any tools to answer Meta Athena's final push that was obviously going to come in when we were down to about that 15 seconds later. There's almost no point. I mean, a Freak of Blue have been so, so good at defending even without these ultimates necessarily, but <laughs> Lucid. That'd be adorable if he was well, going to play the attack Torbjorn. It would have been cute. Uh, but it's not going to happen. i got to stop talking about hovers <laughs> if uh, attacking teams. But Nas looks like he actually will be on this Sombra. Well, that's definitely not very unusual, right? It's quite common to see the Sombra play, especially out of Nas. We've seen it before, but the... Um, <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> the sneak tactic. <laughs> Nobody knows. I don't know why, but that got me. That completely got know. me. Well, I was wondering if we were going to see the swap out of Recry. On this map specifically, you can't get a whole lot of value out of the attack soldier unless uh, your opponents just let you in to the point. Obviously, if you're up against a Reinhardt or an aggressive D.Va, it's going to be hard to find value. But it looks like they just want to stick to their guns. Uh, Dongyan actually on the Tracer, so they're going to be doing a slower push it looks like here, unless they're going to swap and trick me. We'll see whether they actually stick with this as Mano does they switch are. back to the Winston. So it is going to be triple DPS. Once again, the Sombra going down very low early on. Dongyun getting frustrating. 
you see how much they're going to be missing his diva because it is so incredibly strong, has been so imperative in this meta as well. Look at how far forward meta Athena are. Well, this is a double-edged sword for meta Athena. They looked for the trap, but now they get caught losing several members. Dongyan, very low though, is taken out here. Looks like that will be enough for the hold here for Medathena. Had things gotten a little bit worse in terms of picks, though, it could have been an early cap for Afrika Blue. They can't get anywhere near the point. Afrika Blue is stuck behind that first choke at the doorway. A lot of harass coming up from Nuss, too. We'll have an EMP soon. Going to look for a little bit more of that damage right now. See if we'll commit to a hack here on the Diva. Nope, just translocates. He's nearly at that EMP. It's ready now. We'll see if he just commits in. Yes, he does. Throws it down immediately. He's going to be able to translocate his way back up to the high ground there as well as Libero. He's going to be able to jump through. Not a lot available after that EMP, EMP happened, and he gets himself a triple. Look at how stunned he is. He's like, yes, I'm against Ahan, and I look like the better Genji in this play. Yeah, absolutely in this case. and. The Sombra is giving a lot of issues to Afrika Freaks. Part of the reason why they had that EMP was because they had such a solid defense against the first push. And now that things have reset, they're not against it. We'll see Recry pop this very early, actually. Kind of blind, even. Just straight up into the faces of Meta Athena, the Tac Visor. Barely successful here as Nuss is gone now. Yeah, and look at Ahan. He just follows up with damage of his own. Takes down Chunksik. And that's going to be Sire Player falling. It looks like this should be at least a couple of caps coming in, if not the full one. It's Meta Athena are just going to fall back to point B. Let's see if Donghyun's going to do a little bit of cheeky harassment as he darts forward to go for the left approach to also get some spotting gun for Afrika Blue. Thus going to stick with the Sombra. Arguably even stronger on this point. Arhan's trying to find him. There he is. So just continue to harass. Oh, Recry is going to be able to take down side player. This actually could be a good Ooh, opportunity. This is a problem. Yeah, dashes through onto Nuss. Nicely done. Dragon Blade is going to come out now. He wants to get this mech as quickly as possible, and he's slicing it up thus far. Gets a lot of damage onto it, and Hoon does lose the mech. That is so important. Side player falling down very low as he has just respawned. And Ooh. now Recry throwing in even more damage. Doesn't even have the attack fires. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that is just beautiful tracking. He's hacked and doesn't care. His right clicks were super on point there. We're going to see one last attempt here by Nuss to come in. There's the EMP, but even without abilities here, it looks like the Freaks may be able to force this one. But now the EMP is worn off. Self-destruct comes up. Good retreat here from Recry. Yeah, gets himself towards that high ground. He's got the attack visor, wants to be able to use it when there's no defense matrix, but just throws it down immediately. There's the mech destroyed. He's ripping them up, and can they actually do this? They've still got five minutes remaining, and that's it. Afrika Blue against all odds. I mean, capping Hanamura at point B is difficult. <laughs> it's not easy, and now they've got 542 for tiebreaker rounds here compared to the one minute of donated 49 seconds that Meta Athena will have after their 11 minute time bank. So the coordination there was much better and obviously the targeting on the Diva to knock Kuhn out of the fight, give the Tac Visor the last nail in the coffin, if you will, to finish that fight off. Really well done. The EMP not being available for that first push was problematic as when it did go down, there was no follow-up. It was just desperation. So a strong start. For Meta Athena on point A with their kind of aggressive forward positioning, but when they got punished by the first tack visor, things snowballed because it was only really one ult that Afrika Freaks Blue needed to use. So had several available for the double capture. Let's see what uh, Meta Athena is going to run with this time. Looks like they want to keep it more of the same. They've got such a low time bank to work with. They want to at least get the tick. Yeah, look at this. I mean, you're 0-2 in a best of five series, and you're now at one minute in comparison to the five minutes and 41 seconds available to Afrika Blue. The mental part of this game is extraordinarily favored towards Afrika Blue. Meta Athena, this is going to have to be some serious heroics to keep themselves in this series. Meta Athena, team that's been reverse swept multiple times. A lot of people attribute that to their their uh, kind of weak mentality when behind like this. So, could actually be something that factors into this map specifically. 45 seconds left to go. Hoon's looking for this high ground push. Now looking for some sort of flanking players. Meta Athena are all moving around there. Libero already on this high ground has spotted out Ahan who's off to the side. You can see Afrika Blue once again just holding towards the upper end of the point. 
Moon gets his way in. We're still at, we're already at 20 seconds to go. Recry has taken out Chunkshik. This could be so important as Nuss. He's gonna fall as well. I mean, at least they trade the Zenyatas, and this is so scrappy. Already two for two thus far, and Sire Player, he's gonna make it a one-sided affair in favor of Afrika Blue. Ahan, uh -huh, he's almost at a Dragon Blade. This guy has been popping off this series. And it's a little bit sad because it's looking as though we're not going to see much more from Afrika Blue today. This 3-0 is looking very imperative. Looks like yeah, there's the Dragon Blade to finish things off. One more attempt here from Sia Player. He's forced off. There goes down the overtime. Rear Cry with the Helix Rocket kill. Who is that going to be in? Just for a second. And Chris is going to get killed. I mean, this is just the cleanup. As Meta Athena, they're going to fail to grab the first point. I mean, when you talk about coordination, I feel like Afrika Freaks Blue all season long have looked to be just the pure best example of this in terms of shot calling, having Dungan always there for the protection. And every single time Saya player is going around looking for a pick or we see Libero trying to sneak around on the Genji, it's consistently either Dungan who comes to answer or Arhan who comes to answer. And as you were saying earlier, when uh, a, when a tracer comes looking for a pick, looking for that harass or maybe just that oh, no. early kill, you never want to find the Genji. No. It's not what you're looking for, but Every single time Afrika Freaks Blue is able to identify where they're pushing from, where they're flanking from, give the, the call to Arhan or give the call to Dongyan, whoever's best equipped to deal with it. And that was kind of the one trick attempt there from Meta Athena. And they can't be blamed for it. They had such a poor time pool. It was the best they could have hoped for. Try to get the pick early, but when that fell apart, there wasn't even time for a second push. Yeah. And I also was so enthralled with the battle that I thought that imperative meant inevitable, which is very confusing because sure, inevitable I, is one of my favorite words. I was just going to let you go with that one. I was like, yeah, well, I it mean... It made absolutely no sense at all. I apologize, everyone who was listening and who was also confused. However, now we're going to have a lot more time to talk about things, Wolf, because there is five minutes and 41 seconds in this time bank. Well, it might not be that long because we might see a fast cap here. It's only one tick, of course, that Afrika Freaks Blue will require to secure this series and take their 12th map in a row. And I heard of statistic in Apex have a team showing this much dominance. Oh, oh the right click oh, here. It's going to be a good start. Well, Libero has started his uh, May career today. Looking very, very good with that crit. Okay, we'll see whether he can set up for this defense. He's gonna need to be here for a long time. I hope he's happy. He's just looking for these picks. So far, Meta Athena holding this high ground nicely. Tesla party! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not gonna be enough, it looks like, here. Freaker Freaks Blue trying to force this. Heidi Kayla with the boop! On to Hoon, that's problematic. All they need to remember is the one tick. Mono finishes off Libero, he's out of the ice block. And he's it's got the halfway rage. there as well. It's ticking up. Afrika Freaks Blue, they're on the point and they're gonna do it. The 3-0 victory. And they continue to stay undefeated here.